Hello, collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, everybody, I'm here um, just doing a random collective reading, okay? This reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I truly do mean that. Thank you so much. Um, for all of my subscribers, a huge thank you, thank you. Everybody new here, thank you. You guys are just nice to me out here, so thank you so much. Um, all right, so what I'm seeing here is a masculine energy that wants a new beginning, okay? Um, I, I feel like they can't shake this connection. This could be a twin flame, but doesn't have to be. Um, but yeah, this was a person who was once a player. I feel like in the past, this person made you feel very used. They came in fast, using that wand, leaving as quickly as they came in, left you behind is really what I'm feeling like. Now they're changing their mind. They want to come back in. They want to change their lifestyle. They don't want to be a player anymore. I'm seeing like this person is going to come towards you with an apology, a love offer. They want love now. Okay, they're missing your love. They're realizing that the player days um, really didn't satisfy them. It didn't fulfill them, but your love did. Okay, um, and they want that back. They, this is somebody who literally can't stop thinking about you. Okay. But who wouldn't want an empress in the minor arcana, right? You're very independent, financially stable, gorgeous, highly intelligent. You're the true treasure, okay? And you've transformed your life. Um, I'm getting the sense that this person could have underestimated you. Maybe they thought that um, you didn't have enough to bring to the table, you know? Um, or this person saw you in a, vul a very vulnerable position in your life at the time, and they thought that it would be easy to use you, okay? Um, that's really the feeling that I'm getting. They thought it would be easy to use you, but in, in the time of separation, you flipped into the Empress and the Minor Arcana. You're no longer in that vulnerable position anymore. You've learned your lessons, too. Each one of these pentacles to me, sometimes stands for a lesson that you learned. You know, the most pentacles you can have in the deck is 10. The only thing you don't have here, Collective, is a soulmate at your side. You've got everything else. You could even be living a lavish lifestyle, okay? But I feel like you've, you've worked your way up through the tarot deck when it comes to levels, okay? You've leveled up in your knowledge, in the lessons that you've learned. OK, and now you've reached the point where you've got one thing left, and that is to experience real, true love, something, someone who's not going to leave you behind, someone who's not going to play you, play games with you, cheat, cheat on you, somebody who is going to be committed and dedicated to you. You're ready for that now because you've learned everything else. You've experienced everything else here in the deck. So that last thing to experience is real love. You're ready, collective, okay? And in the energy that you're in, you don't need anybody, right? Um, I feel like you, you are following the guidance of the divine, so you, you need the divine, but you don't need an actual person with you to build all that you're building. You're happy being single. But that's when real love comes in, okay? That's when real love comes in. So I feel like you're about to get um, the right kind of person for you. This, this person here, I feel like they're coming forward and you're not even focused on them anymore. You know, this person played you before. I feel like you may not trust them anymore. I, I think you figured them out. Maybe for the longest time, um, you could have been waiting for this person to come back around. Um, you were maybe wondering what the heck happened, or um, I know I felt that connection. You did. You felt it. They felt it as well. But the fact of the matter is, I feel when this person met you and got with you, their plan was to just use you and leave you behind. Okay? They needed to change that about themselves. They needed to get some kind of respect for you, 
okay? They needed to see you for um, all that you have in you, right? What you're capable of. And they needed to realize that love, the love that's in that cup, is really the only thing that really is truly fulfilling. Okay? Moments of personal gratification just doesn't cut it. And uh, honestly, I feel like players are being, they're having to change their player ways now because nobody is putting up with it anymore. Uh, nobody who is going to um, be worth any effort, okay, no self-respecting person is going to be dealing with being used by people anymore. It's, it, there's, you know, I feel like people are, are changing in that aspect, you know, and becoming more intuitive and seeing people for who they really are. So I feel like you've got your back turned. You may not even accept an apology from this person. Okay. You may not even want to hear it anymore. And you may really like your lifestyle, um, your single life, because you're able to focus and build something solid for yourself. Yeah, you know what? Um, this person definitely wants you back. I feel like they know this is coming to an end. They want to do something to try to fix it. They're laying here thinking about how they betrayed you, um, how they broke your heart, um, and they're tapping on this final blade here that blade to me is like the ace of swords they're thinking about what they're going to say to you you know I, i'm getting the sense that um maybe this person is possibly worried that um you're getting some a new love yeah because you're moving on having this victory they're very burdened by this clarify this five of wands there could be other people um maybe calling this person a fool, an idiot, for leaving, uh, leaving behind an empress in the minor arcana. People could be finding out that they used you in the past. Yeah, see, they're, ca they're calling this person a fool. What did I say? I just said it. So they have a group of people around them. Yeah, because you're out here as a star in wish fulfillment. Look at this. There could be other people around this person that want to date you. Because you're literally, it's almost like you're every person's dream here. And this, um, whoever used you, they know. They know there's other people that want you. Okay? They know you're about to be approached by others. And they're about to have some kind of competition. And a lot of these people, they know. They're friends with some of these people who want to come in and have, have a chance with you. Okay? I feel like this whole group has been watching you. You could have your own platform. You could be definitely on social media posting something. Maybe it's pictures. Maybe you're out here as a spiritualist, a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, an empath, somebody who's very um, intuitive and tapped in. You're also gorgeous. Look at you. Um, the star and the empress in the minor arcana, these are two of the most beautiful people in the deck. Okay, and you're out here getting a lot of attention and a lot of love from other people, even though you may not realize it, you are, okay? Clearly, you're having this victory. You're moving on in confidence. You're very confident. You're very poised. You're, you're, you're strong, tough, and a warrior, but you're also very soft, kind, and nurturing, and extremely independent and abundant and stable. If you have a job on the internet, say you started a creative project, right? Um, and maybe, maybe this person from your past they thought it was they thought it was a crazy project. Well, now it's become very successful. It's it's put you in in star energy. Okay, so if if this is a job um, or something creative. So sorry about that collective. Something happened to my camera and it gave me no warning. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I need to backtrack a little, okay, because it cut off during the reading and I had no idea. 
Anyway, I feel like I left off saying that if you've started some kind of project, now it's become a major success. It's put you in the spotlight, okay? And um, say you, you have some kind of product that you're selling. Everybody wants it, okay? Say you're out here speaking about spirituality or delivering messages. You've got a big following because you're helping a lot of people, okay? Um, and then these two came out. Yeah, somebody is seeing you from a new perspective. They know they need to communicate. And I feel like they've been rehearsing what they plan on saying to you, okay? Because I'm kind of seeing this as a mirror. I'm seeing them thinking, you know, is, is what I'm going to say going to be good enough? That kind of thing, right? Um, and I don't know where we left off, so I'm just kind of backtracking here a little bit. But yeah, this person has a group of people around you or around them that want you, okay? Um, they're seeing you in the public eye, your wish fulfillment for pretty much everybody. I, I keep saying, who wouldn't want an empress in the minor arcana for crying out loud? Um, but this masculine feels a bit stuck, I feel. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, Virgo, Aries. But I feel like you're holding out for an emperor. And I, with everybody who um, you're attracting attention from, I'm telling you, you're going to have a lot of options. And one of those people is going to stand out as an emperor for you. Somebody who's going to match your energy. And this person that you're leaving behind, this person who played you that you don't trust anymore, they're missing out on an opportunity here. They're missing out on this love. They know that you're about to get somebody new. And then I, these two came out together, okay? Um, I feel like this person is afraid to talk to you, collective, okay? <laughs> they know they're going to have to kind of get on their knees and be repentant. They, they may feel like they may even have to beg you. And this player is not used to begging for anybody. They're not used to falling on their knees and saying they're sorry. Okay, but they've done so much to you. And there could even be some things that this person doesn't want to tell you. Because they've been out here playing other people. Okay? And they're seeing you now as the Empress... Uh, you know, I feel like, yeah, they walked away from an empress, this person, man, they're being shown a lot. They're in, a, they're going to be in a lot of pain because they're going to be missing out on you. I, this person, they, I, they were a fool. Everybody around them knows it. Everybody is calling them a fool. Yeah, you're about to get new love and they're being shown this or told this somehow. Okay, they're, they're going to be in a whole lot of pain here, knowing they walked away from an empress. What a fool. Yep, somebody's coming in. Okay, so I feel like you've got new love coming in, and somebody, there's people telling this person about it. Okay? Because I'm feeling like this is exposure. So it's about to be exposed. You're about to get someone new. And this person, they're losing the empress. I mean, you know, you were a blessing for this person. They may have even prayed for you at one point. And, and you stepped into, you know, they prayed for somebody who would love them the right way. Real love. You step into, into their life and they turn their nose up at you. Yeah, I feel like you're about to get a King of Pentacles energy, a King of Pentacles emperor. All right, somebody who is going to want to commit to you, somebody who's going to be loyal and dedicated, grounded and stable. This could also be um, somebody who owns their own business, very good with money, and maybe even very wealthy. Okay? Somebody's going to find out about this. You could even be getting married to somebody. Okay, this can be a wedding, um, an engagement. 
I feel like you've got new love here or you have new love coming in and this person is being told about it and they're going to want to get in between this connection. Okay, because they want the Empress. They want the Empress. Uh, they, they may even be getting really angry at their friends or family, whoever wants to come towards you because people aren't keeping that a secret. They're like, if you don't want the Empress, we do. If you don't want this star, we want this star. Okay, so this person could be like just trying to stop people from coming towards you at this point. Okay, they don't want you with anybody else. But I feel like it's kind of too late for this person now. You know, they're feeling very defeated. They walked away. When they walked away from you, they actually betrayed themselves. Spirit is showing them this. So whether spirit is showing them visions of you with someone else or whether they're hearing about it from other people, they're, um, they're finding out. Yeah, you've got this person blocked. You're, so t you're sick of people coming in and out of your life. You don't want anybody who's going to come in and just use you, take advantage of you, okay? You, you don't want um, anybody who's going to come in and just um, want you for your money, your abundance, and your success. I feel like you can't trust this person, so you're protecting yourself. You're making a decision here. You could be a Gemini. You could be a Taurus, Aries, Virgo. I've got Leo energy out here as well. You want somebody who's going to give you equal give and take. You know, you want someone who's going to reciprocate your love and help you build a solid foundation and generational wealth. Okay, because that's where you're going. And honestly, when you meet this new person, they are going to knock your socks off. I feel like this is going to be a connection like you've never felt before, this new person, okay? You, you may even recognize them at a soul level, all right? And they are not going to want to leave your side. They're going to be very protective of you. They're going to be extremely loyal. They're going to be dedicated. They're going to help you to build this um, wealth together the wealth and success, okay? It's going to be a huge celebration that's going to lead to a marriage. I feel like you've got your boundaries up towards this person from your past. And you've walked in integrity this whole time. So you deserve somebody who's going to match that energy, okay? Someone who's going to be strong, courageous, right? And have integrity. Yeah, this other person, they've had their back turned towards you for far too long. They've been ignoring making this choice, um, improving their life, right? Making the right decisions. So yeah, you're leaving them behind collective. And I feel like this is that eclipse energy as well. You know, we're eclipsing out anything that no longer serves us, right? Anything that's toxic, um, the lunar eclipse is tomorrow, right? And um, yeah, they may want to hang on to you, but I feel like you're, you're pushing this connection aside, like away. I don't think you even want to talk to this person. They don't want to let you go. Or they may, this could also be being very stubborn in the past, but... Yeah, you're using your intuition. You know spirit has better things coming for you. You know that you're the blessing here. And you're about to get ultimate wish fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment, an emperor to an empress. And you're going to go on to build that um, solid generational wealth and success. Okay? And I, I'm telling you, though, this person from your past, they're never going to stop watching you. They're never going to stop watching you. But you're, um, and they're, they are kind of stalkery, right? So they're, they're watching the internet, anything that you post. They could be driving past your house, driving past your work, really keeping a, a close eye on you, okay? But you're moving on. 
This is the end to a cycle. This is you um, walking in confidence, being healed, balanced in your emotions. You're over this person. And you know, you've been told too by the divine, you've got a true connection coming in that's going to treat you and love you the right way. Okay, so get ready, collective. You're about to get an emperor and all of this wish fulfillment for real. Um, I feel like you will be getting the Ten of Pentacles and you will be getting the Ten of Cups. And this person from your past, their karma, part of their karma is to have to watch. Okay. Oh, let's get some advice for you, though, before we go. But, um, yeah, there's a power couple here, but it's somebody new. And your person may even know who this emperor is. Okay, I feel like they've, um, everybody in their inner circle is seeing you and wanting you. One of those people may be this emperor. And they're going to have to watch. They're going to have to watch you move on and be loved right. Yeah, look at all the chaos and conflict. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's very chaotic. Yeah, and now this person wants to come back around. There could be a lot of people from your past that want to come back around now because you're, um, you're doing so well. You're out here glowing. Yeah, but you want this new life. You want this new life. And you know you're deserving of it. Yeah, so I feel like you're leaving people behind. Some of you may even be being called to make a house move or a location change. You know, getting away from all the people in your past, going to where nobody knows your name, right? So that you can, re you can start over. So you can live uh, your life freely, you know? Yeah, I feel like you felt stuck or you feel stuck wherever you are. I feel like you're thinking about making a house move here and ending everything where you are. Yeah, I'm seeing um, movement. Yep, and you're starting to maybe um, pack your boxes, right? Clean up, sweeping some old energy out. You're tired of the stagnancy. You're tired of feeling stuck. This is coming to an end with a 10. This is a cycle that's over. Uh, whoever this is wants to come back around, but I feel like the door is closing. Yep, and as soon, look, divine timing. As soon as you leave the situation and these people behind, here comes that emperor. Here they come. The emperor to the empress right there. And they're going to be loyal to you. Loyal, dedicated, committed. Yep, it's time for you to move on into and start this new cycle, this new phase in your life, and be happy and be loved the way you were meant to be loved. Okay? Hallelujah. I feel like you're making space for this new emperor now. Spirit is leading you and guiding you to either clear out clutter, make a house move. They're starting to align you with this emperor or empress. Take it how it resonates. But yeah, um, get ready, collective. It's your time to be loved right. It's your time to start a new life, right? It's going to be absolutely beautiful and amazing. It really, truly is. You're going to be a big success as well. And your person from your past, they get to watch and know everything that they lost here. Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. Like and subscribe to the channel, you guys, if you want to join this awesome, awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.